when I was in, in Dubai, and I sent the Rutos a message. This man is arranging, is arranging demonstrations. And this is the day he has not told you. This is the, and the message came in. Is this really Prophet Hubert Angel? <laughs> Good morning and win forever. Thank you so much. This is a wonderful Friday. Now, uh, in Kenya, there are a lot of things happening now, but um, I want us to see this thing from a spiritual approach or from a spiritual point of view. President William Ruto has been going through so much since the very first year he got into office as President of the Nation and the Republic of Kenya. Now, these things were spoken way before he even entered the office. So, it's not something we can sit down here and uh, say uh, we, we didn't know. It was a uh, prophet spoke. I spoke it in this channel. And some other prophets spoke about these things. And uh, major prophets, let me say, major prophets, let me use that word deliberately, um, they spoke. Prophet T.B. Joshua, even before he passed on, he spoke about the unrest that is happening now in the nation of Kenya. Uh, Prophet Hubert Angel uh, spoke about it in precise, even made calls. But now, why am, am I doing this episode right now? Is because uh, it has been a complaint of so many politicians, even the ones that are talking about they are the advisor of the government, that the president of the nation of Kenya is quite reluctant in some issues of picking counsel or picking advice and uh, sad enough even advice and information from god when i was in in dubai and i sent the routers a message this man is arranging is arranging demonstrations and this is the day he has not told you this is the and the message came in. Is this really Prophet Hubert Angel? I said, I'm going to call and say this is Hubert Angel. You know my voice. I called. It was in, I was in church. I called. I said, this is Hubert Angel. They said, oh, it's you, sir. Put down. And this one pissed off Prophet Hubert Angel. Yes. And not just him. I also feel like this is just... An awkward set of situation of a, a national leader. <laughs> and this one brings me to do this episode. And I want you to hear Prophet Hubert Angel speaking about this. Everything I do, you know, because politicians get born again twice before every election. <laughs> I record every conversation. Because I know they wake up and refuse. Because it's political genius, which is political foolishness. So you challenge what I say. I wake up tomorrow. It will be on all the blogs. Because I don't want you to be challenging it. But if you challenge it, I challenge you back. In the same way you show your foolishness, I am very capable of suspending my divinity to line up with your foolishness and as he continued to take this advice let me preload the previous episodes that uh, one of the previous episodes he did trying to advise the nation of Kenya so here it is the spirit of the Lord is in this place and remember, we're still praying for Kenya. We're still praying for Kenya. Because a lot is being planned as we speak right now. And I see people in the backdrop sitting down and saying this one and this one and this one and this one. And they begin to say, follow the money and you know what is happening. I don't want to say too much. But the reality is, there are things I will say. 
that will show who and what. There is no way there will be a movement, you know, where people come in and disrupt and disrupt and disrupt and disrupt. Follow the money. Mm. Even in these regions, mm. there are people sitting down in these regions, sitting down, planning who to pay. Mm. So people can move and cause chaos. But every authority and every government, the process of it and the system of it mm. is placed there by God. And the Bible says, is it the altar that makes the offering holy? Or the offering that is on the altar that makes the altar holy? Of course, mm. it is the altar. So the presidency is anointed. Mm. You might not like the person sitting in it. But the position is anointed. The throne is anointed. Mm. So God is the one who put people there. And if they sit there, when you don't like them, that anointing on that sanctifies their position. That you rise against them, you are rising against the one who put the altar. Okay, now you tell me. Go to the comment section. What do you think about this? how do you see it well as for me i'm going there to pin a comment my view is right in the comment section see you in the next episode